So we're sitting in the in the room, right, typing away, and I realize I just finished my book. So I sit there for a minute, and I'm like, I can't believe that just happened. And my heart starts pounding. I'm all getting lightheaded and like feel like jello. I'm sitting there for like ten minutes, and I kept trying to get my mom's attention. She was on the other side of the room, and she finally turned to me and she goes, "I'm done." And I was like, "Me too." So we kind of finished at the same time. Within ten minutes of each other. Yeah. Magic. Um, so I had no idea that I was going to finish today. I, had, I was completely surprised. I expected to write all day today. And all of a sudden, it was like, it told me it was done. It was like the process, if you let it happen, um, it will um, tell you where to go and when you're through. I That's thought true. that was very interesting. I was really surprised. The whole thing's been really really good and really interesting. At first it was really hard, just sort of just, I felt like I was in school again, only it was like doing something I wanted to do, but it, Tom is so tough on you. He's just like, you have to do this, you have to keep writing, and you keep typing, and your speed is important. And I mean, when I used to write at home, I'd spend three hours working on like two pages, and so this was so hard for me, having to like skip over, using like the same action words over and over again. It was so frustrating. But after a while, I just kind of like, just kind of flatlined and just kind of typed for like hours without even like thinking about it, just, you know, going at it. Yeah, it was, I, I really appreciate his approach to um, bypassing the left brain and just downloading and um, letting it um, just flow out of you and ha trusting that it will flow out of you if you um, get, just give it a chance and not, cri not use your left critical side of your brain. So that was, that was a new experience for me because I write mostly nonfiction. And my, uh, as I, I'm a freelance writer, so I write mostly nonfiction. So to be able to just download all of uh, this, this story was very um, exciting for me. Well, my book, um, I had no, um, originally I was just, bring, I was coming to, for Izzy. And I just uh, registered Izzy in the, in the workshop and I wasn't going to, do it myself. But at the last minute, I decided it would be great to, for us to do this together. So I had no preparation. I didn't read the books. I didn't um, listen to any of the um, CDs. So I, I didn't even have a book that I wanted to write. So when we started writing, I just started writing. And what came out was um, a story. Uh, it's probably 30,000 words. And um, it's about a woman and her crazy adventures in life. <laughs> Nothing that unusual, but, you know. Tell, tell them the name. The name of the book is Odessa Figures Out the Devil. <laughs> Mine ended up being like 35,600 something words, I think. And it's about, well, how do I explain this? When I first started writing, it was like four or five months ago, and it was, I was at a really weird place with everything in my life, and it was sort of this idea about pretty much about the Archangel Michael, but sort of just like a twisted, not dark, but just like twisted version than like what fundamental, like biblical things are about Michael. And I just used it as a way to like figure out what I believed in and I would write just like short scenes pretty much. And when I came here, I kind of been like obsessing over it for a while, just like thinking about it and writing about it. And when I came here, it just happened. I always saw myself as like the struggling artist spending two years working <laughs> on the same book and like living on the streets. So I guess this is better. But you know, it happened. It was sort of like a religious experience. <laughs> getting it all out and then finishing it and sitting back and being like, oh my god, that just happened. <laughs>